Hi, I'm Dustin from Archbold Biological Station, and this is Science in the Scrub. Sometimes you can find skulls while walking in the Florida scrub. In this video, we're going to look at how scientists classify different animal groups and how you can use a skull and teeth to tell if a mammal is a predator or prey, or a herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, or insectivore. The Earth is a great place for life. Overall, it's not too hot or cold and has plenty of water. So far, scientists have never found life on any of the other planets, or the dwarf planets, moons, comets, and asteroids orbiting the Sun in our solar system. There is so much life on Earth that you can see it from space. The green down there comes from living things. With so much life on Earth, how do we make sense of it? Let's start with some basics. There are different kinds of living things. For example, a dog is a dog and a cat is a cat. Dogs mate with dogs and give birth to dogs. If a female dog has her tail clipped off and then gives birth to puppies, the puppies will still be born with tails. Having a tail is part of being a dog and it's inherited from its parents. Each puppy will be like its brothers and sisters and like its parents, but will also be unique. Now this may seem obvious, but what if it didn't work this way? What if dogs mated with cats and gave birth to turtles? It just wouldn't make sense. It just wouldn't make sense. Because there's an order to living things and the way they reproduce, scientists can tell different species apart and classify them in different ways. Is he going to show the snake? One of the first questions scientists ask about an animal is, does it have a spine or a backbone? If it does, then it's a vertebrate, like Poser the pine snake here, and, and like people. If it doesn't, it's an invertebrate. Invertebrates don't have spines, like spiders and lobsters and ants. Some major animal groups include mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fishes, and arthropods. Scientists classify animals into these groups by finding the things they have in common, things they inherited from distant ancestors. For instance, all reptiles have scaly skin, and all birds have wings. Humans and manatees might not look much alike, but they're both mammals because they both produce milk for their young and share other inherited features. All mammals share a distant relative, so their skull features and teeth have some similarities. We can use these to classify them. We can look at their eye placement to see if they were predator or prey, and look at their teeth to see if they ate plants or animals or both. These rules work for most mammals, but not for all of them. Let's start with the position of the eyes. You can find the position of the eyes by looking for the orbital. This saying will help you remember whether an animal is predator or prey. Eyes up front likes to hunt. Eyes on the side likes to hide. Eyes on the side likes to get eaten by other animals. That's not what it is. Most of the time, a predator's eyes will be in the front of its face. That means both eyes look at the same thing at the same time. That makes it easier for them to tell how far away something is. It's called binocular vision, and we have it too. 
Try playing catch sometime with one eye closed, and you'll see how hard it is to tell how far away the ball is. Usually prey have their eyes on the side of their head. With each eye looking in different directions, they have a wide field of view to be able to spot predators. Teeth are a great way to figure out what an animal eats. Mammals are often called carnivores, herbivores, omnivores, or insectivores based on what they eat. Carnivores are animals that only eat other animals, usually by hunting them. They have sharp and pointed teeth to kill their prey and shred their flesh. Their large canines really set them apart and are used for puncturing the skin of their prey. Herbivores are animals that only eat plants. They have flat teeth in the back of the mouth called molars and premolars and long chisel-like teeth in the front of the mouth called incisors. The molars and premolars are for grinding down plant material. The incisors are for biting off parts of plants to chew. Omnivores eat both plants and animals. They have all four types of teeth with the combination of flat and pointed. Dogs and humans are a good example of omnivores. Insectivores are predators, mostly eating insects. Whether they have molars, premolars, canines, or incisors, all the teeth in their mouth tend to look similar. This makes sense because they usually eat their insect prey whole, so they don't need specialized teeth for tearing and chewing. All animals need food, water, and safety to live. Their skulls and their teeth are clues to how they meet those needs. The next time you get the chance to look at some photos of an animal skull or hold one in your hand, take a look to figure out what story that animal has to tell. So we've been talking about the kinds of mammal skulls you can find in the Florida scrub, but what about bird skulls and reptile skulls? Will they be different? If you have a skull like this alligator skull here, it's a reptile and it spends most of its time in the water. What kinds of different features would that have? Come on down to Archbold Biological Station and let's figure it out together.